So let me do this honor and invite our keynote speaker who has taken out some of her precious time. She was a latest addition to Toastmasters when we had our Park Tech event live in Karachi at Dream Dreamland uh, Resort. And she was one of our keynote speaker over there. Unfortunately, I am in Kuwait. Many of us are in uh, guests are from India. So we could not enjoy that speech. And a brief introduction, Miss Esther Jane is a 18th grade assistant of professor of a special education. She has done a master's in English. She has traveled to many countries and represented Pakistan. She is a activist. I hope she will make us learn with her experiences and messages. Your time will be from 15 to 20 minutes, 15 minutes and five minutes will be for question and answers. Let's welcome with round applause, Esther Jane. Thank you so much for having me in today's meeting. It's a matter of great pleasure that I'm talking to you and going to tell something about me and my experiences. And the topic which is given to me is uh, navigating the discourse about human circumstances. It's a huge topic. So there are a lot of circumstances and situations where um, we sometimes fail to understand how to deal with. And if I talk about the persons with disabilities, so people are sometimes mistreated and misunderstood. So I'll be sharing few ideas. How can people communicate and talk to persons with disabilities and how can they help her help them so at first i would like to say that we are as normal as others right we don't need any special treatment any special tags or names sometimes you know people say um special person differently able i don't think that well i'm differently able I'm the same. I do things just in a different way, right? So I don't need any tag when people invite me. And you know, uh, sometimes the people who hold the stage, they make mountains of <laughs> praise that besides her disability, she has done this, 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 that. So what I want, my name and my profession is can be my introduction only. We don't mind if you say or talk about our disability. Well, if you need to tell someone that what is my issue, you can say that she cannot speak, she's blind. We don't mind, but we don't need extra words for us, like special persons, special needs. So we do have some special needs, but we don't need special tags. When we are in programs, what people do to us, they don't talk to us directly as they think that we cannot express ourselves, we cannot speak for ourselves. They talk to our guide, someone who's with us. What does she like? What, what would she like to have? You know, people don't talk directly. So what uh, we want or we would like to request that talk to us, we can, um, express our feelings ourselves. We can speak for ourselves. We can. I can better tell about myself that what is my problem. And sometimes what people do, they start discussing about us, and they do not include. Oh, she's having this problem. How would she be managing her things and all? So it's better to talk to me, get to know me. Uh, I hope that we can better tell about ourselves. 
if a person has visual impairment people try to grab them hold them the way that they can fall what i would like to suggest that when you are with a person with visual impairment let the person hold you not you hold because if i hold your arm i'll be having i'll be guided by your step wherever you go i'll follow so there are less chances of falling down and you know facing troubles so talk to us get to know about us and we are we have normal people we have feelings you know sometimes people think that we are super human we can learn things in a minute it's not about it we are as normal as others we also struggle sometimes while learning while doing things exercising so there are some myths and some miscommunications about us so in society what we want that it is it is you know socially constructed people think and they want to say whatever they feel about us so i want people to avoid such words which make us feel you know different or excluded like differently able or special person or do this take up with you it may be a slow walk but i can walk i can hold my plate while putting food in it you know so that there are points which people can do but people make us feel that we cannot do so people should allow us the things we can you know people are sometimes over protect they do not allow the things we can do ourselves even and sometimes we are totally rejected people say that you sit here we'll bring food for you we'll do things for you you know so it also makes us feel excluded and different as we belong to somewhere else <laughs> so we are the part of society if we are included we Think that we can play a role and we can do something good for the society. We can also contribute. We don't want to be dependent all the time. We should. We don't want to be receivers all the time. But if allowed, we want to be the givers, and we want to contribute to society. We give back to the society as well. And things are. possible we need nothing but inclusion respect equality and people consider us uh, as superhuman what we want and request want to request that please consider as human we are the same we belong to the same society we do have problems we cannot deny the fact that there are some disabilities like which create limitations but we manage somehow the other so this was the point which i had to share i hope i could add something to your knowledge thank you so much any questions thank you very much miss esther any questions please the room, the we have 5 minutes to ask any questions yes toast master of the day <laughs> that was very a good one toast master latif assalam alaikum esther how are you uh, my question to you is that uh, in our society in pakistan we do not have a uh, children with uh, special abilities uh, in the same school as the other children hmm. so our children do not know how to 
treat or how to meet people uh, i'll just give you an example that i know someone who is a quadriplegic and she is on a wheelchair so when our children meet either they get scared and they're like uh, surprise ke what is this how do we treat them mm. either they hesitate and don't talk or they show sympathy they're like oh bichari oh poor mm. yeah how do we make them understand that you have to treat them as equals as not and not as a lesser human being and matlab what steps can be taken on national level or at school level or even as a mother what steps should i take to tell my children that it's how to treat people like these matlab they should not treat them as aliens or something <laughs> so i don't yeah. i don't there's any tips or any things that we can and not even it's not only for the children it's even for the elders i have seen many elders also getting um they don't know what to do when they, they meet someone yeah, like yeah. that they are like surprised and shocked and either they are like very sympathetic and they so how to tell them that they are normal human beings they are studying they are doing everything what well, what should we do it's a very good question and valid question well what we can do as the um announcer mentioned that i have visited many countries so i went to us and i visited a school where a blind child was studying so what i observed that things were provided for him at the school but he was included in the same class he was doing activities that's how the society learn because he is learning in a mainstream school so all the st- students who are learning with him will already know how to deal with them will guide them how to be with them right so as per 2030 agenda which many times talks about inclusion we need to focus on that that we should have inclusive institutes you know what uh, when i was talking to sara heather she told me that and i also know that parents don't want their children to study with special children because they think that they will behave in the same way they will learn their activities and you know so we need to educate the society because they are from the same community what mothers can do they can take their children to schools where special children are studying as we are studying in special education centers at the moment because inclusive schools do not allow although it 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 has to be one day i don't know when but we have to study together so society may learn how to deal with us so mothers can take their children uh to special schools you know i was living in a hostel while uh, studying in a school so there were so many people who used to come and visit and play with us they used to do different activities taught us different things you know play work and things and how to make things so people used to visit with their kids so they may learn how to uh, deal with us how visually impaired people work how other uh, people with disabilities work what are their needs how should they be treated and you know what you can do if you meet someone you should first ask like is there any problem and do you need help sometimes we don't need help and people try to and sometimes we do need help but nobody comes so things have to be in a way as we want <laughs> thank you miss esther now a question from me when uh, as as what i understand with my uh, uh, there is someone so how do i matlab is there a proper way how do i enter? because i don't want to tell my children ke 
here is a person with special needs or here is a person with disability be kind to them i don't want to use those words so what are the words that i should use to describe someone who is visually impaired or who cannot hear or who is physically disabled i don't like these words okay, are there any better words to use i i would like to i would like to answer this uh, if okay if, sure yeah. sure um, in in my in my terms these these things are good actually because um, we have to bring those this those things which has values in life even uh, any part of the world if if you cannot have if you cannot walk there is a wheelchair if 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 a person is blind then there is a stick to walk and and that is no wrong it is just what we have to treat our kids is as you are treating your brothers and sisters these are also your siblings these are your aunt these are your fellow uh, parents and family members just treat them as a normal person it is nothing else to we have to say that you know uh, we have to be kind enough with them or anything else i hope i have answered the uh, her question but if you have anything else to say please be free um, yes Esther. yes i wanted to say the same that you just need to tell them you can tell them about the disability they they are having it's nothing bad about it you can tell that she's having visual impairment and she works like this but she studies she reads books she speaks she has friends she laughs you know sometimes people think that we don't have friends as we are aliens we are so you can tell them that they are as normal as you are so without using those words special person or you can mention the disability it's not a problem i think because you need to tell them you need to make aware of the words which are used for the people But like exactly. in, initially there were words like disabled right which means that person cannot do anything with the passage of time the vocabulary is changing now person comes first then the disability like person with disability person with visual impairment aster with disability at first it was a disabled person mazur shakh now shakh comes first then the mazur okay i get it <laughs> one let's, tip i would let's, like to let's, say let's move ahead and ask a question uh, toastmaster imran you have some question yes i just wanted to ask would you like to share one of your best moments of uh, means when you have achieved something would you like to share uh, would you like to share that thank you <laughs> there are a lot of moments which i can share there are thousands of moments when i felt very happy but um um there was a time that uh, i was living in a hostel in university karachi university so one day i came home in a point and my mother was saying why did you come alone something could happen you could fall or you could face an accident or you know so i told my mother that you should be happy today that i have reached myself home i did not wait for my brother to come and take me at 8 pm so you should feel up. and my father you know he supported me encouraged me he said yes you did the right thing so i was so happy that someone is there to you know praise me for my the fact that i'm going to be independent so that was a very good feeling thank you toastmaster mufaddil please uh thank you very much uh, for the wonderful speech i just wanted to add and i want i wanted to share uh, uh, some thing which i had read in one of one of the books uh, some of my you have read the book think and grow rich in that the author actually started that he had a impaired child who had the uh, who was deaf but the author tried to emphasize that even if your child is disabled and you make him believe that this disability will not stop him growing mm. and you keep on trying with small tricks eventually this thing will set in his subconscious 
and he will ace everything in his life yes. so he he just described how he overcome the child's feeling hmm. over the this will not happen spontaneously this will take a lot of time yes. so it take took a lot of time and eventually i i don't remember exactly uh, but his child grew so much that after some time there were there, there was a big company who was who was developing uh, sign languages and some instruments for deaf people so the company hired that child for improvement of those instruments and he was he he landed himself to a very reputed position after that that's only that's the thing i want to add at this wonderful yes. I second. I second you, Toastmaster Mufaddil, and I wanted so to add. I. Yes, yes. Why I why what I wanted to second is because these new invention of life, like for the hearing aids and everything, are made by some of the human, and that happened because they wanted to be with them in that community. They wanted to see or feel like what we are having the same value of life. Now I will. Uh, Toastmaster Imran, do we have time or? Uh, no, the time is almost complete. Okay, great. So, uh, last uh, comments. If you have anything else to uh, give with your closing remarks, uh, Miss Esther, and then we can proceed for our meeting. All right. It was uh, very nice meeting with you all, and thank you for inviting me. I hope to see you soon again. <laughs> Thank you.